Hey guys, come here, Ricardo 198 you're back again, and today I'm reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars Clone Pilot Matchstick. Um, he's Clone Wars number 34. Um, I don't believe this wave is out yet. And yeah, I haven't seen any reports of this wave out yet, but I got it online uh, for my birthday. But anyways, new red and white packaging. Uh, he's a new, the only thing that's new about him is his head sculpt. Actually, no, his head sculpt is a repaint of Cody, I mean Rex, and his helmet is brand new, so it's removable. Uh, he also comes with a Gatling gun and a DC-15 blaster. Um, nice packaging. There's bottom, and here's the top, I mean the back. She has a nice picture of the figure and a nice picture of him from the episode, I believe Shadow of the Malevolence, or I forgot which episode that was. But it's one of the Malevolent series. Um, and it says Matchstick, Matchstick is a clone pilot in Shadow Squadron who goes on a fatal mission to destroy a separatist ship. He flies a Y-wing fighter slash bomber to attack the Malevolent, a huge vessel armed with deadly ion a deadly ion cannon. This Y-wing is damaged while passing through a large nebula, a mishap that results in a dire consequence for the trooper. Um, so pretty much it for the box for the view and I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, it's Commander Car 198 here back again and I now have Clone Pilot Matchstick unboxed. Um, so, first off I'll go over the accessories which it comes with a Gatling gun. Nothing different from all the other versions. Still shits out their little rocket launcher thingy with jigger. So, nothing different about this. Um, it also comes with a DC-15 blaster. Oops, um, it's got a slight grayish tone to it, um, so, yeah. Um, the figure itself, he's just a plain clone trooper body with a new helmet. Uh, the head sculpt is Captain Rex's. Actually, I think it, yeah, it's Commander Pawn's, actually, uh, helmet sculpt. Um, so, yeah. Um, articulation is ball jointed head, ball hunch shoulders, uh, ball hunch elbows, ball hunch wrists, ball hunch waist, uh, swivel hips, ball hunch knees, and ball hunch ankles. And then the helmet he has is pretty nicely detailed. Um, I really like this helmet. Um, of course it's removable and it's got the air tubes on there. Um, my thing I like about it is they added hard plastic to the air tubes so it doesn't tend to like slip up here. It stays where it's supposed to be so I really like that. So Hasbro did a pretty good job on this figure. I really like him. Um, so, that's pretty much it to this figure. I'll give him a, I don't know, 4.5 out of 5, uh, just because he's a little bit plain, but still he's a pretty nice figure. Um, so, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.